A lot of them are coming through. We get tend to get the typical, like any new shooter, nervous at first. Once they understand the safe function, handling, and operation of a firearm, it's pretty hard to hurt yourself with it. Um, once they realize that, the fear is gone and they become totally confident. Todd Rocho from the Silverdale Gun Club just outside of Toronto. That was yesterday when Marissa SMQ and Ivana Yelich, Marissa, of course, a reporter here on Sun News, Ivana Yelich, one of the producers of Byline. These two young ladies were recently taking their gun safety course and decided to go out and hit the range, cameras in tow. Okay, so cock it twice, guns? right? Yeah. What do you do? I have to wait for 60 seconds, I'm so scared. Are you aiming at the close ones? Looking through this? Yep. That was sweet. Empty. Marissa and Ivana join me now from Toronto. Ladies, <laughs> Hi, looks Brian. like you enjoyed the range yesterday. Oh, yes. It was so fun. What made you decide to go and get your, uh, your gun licenses? Marissa, we'll start with you. Well, you know, would you ever ask that question to a man, Brian? Yeah, I would. I would. I ask all kinds of people that question. Yelich, what about you? Uh, you grew up in Saskatchewan on a farm. I can't believe you didn't have one already. I know, I did. I grew up around, like, everyone around me had firearms. It, it, it was not out of the ordinary, but I never really, I don't know, got interested. I would, I met, I've met a lot of good people working on the show who, you know, are in the firearms industry, and it's, I don't know, just, it, it's exciting. It was something I really wanted to do. Uh, it's a sense of empowerment, definitely. Um, and you do feel powerful pulling that. Oh, for sure, yeah. confidence Marissa, booster. You are much more of a city girl, if I'm correct. What 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 were your thoughts after hitting the range? Oh, it's a great sport. I think more women should get involved in it. In fact, Ivana and I are actually even considering getting our hunting license after this. If you eat meat, you should be able to kill it. Uh, no, I think <laughs> it's a great uh, it's a great sport. And you know what? I don't really buy into that narrative that it's an oppressor against women. Uh, in fact, you know, the argument should be made that it's a great it's actually the great equalizer. God created guns, so the saying goes: God creating guns. And uh, Samuel Colt created, uh, or sorry, God created a uh, man, Samuel Colt created the gun, so the <laughs> equalizer, something like that. Well, I, I want to <laughs> ask you about this. When I took uh, my safety course a while back, it was um, half the room, there were about a dozen of us, half the room were women. Uh, you seen similar thing? What are you hearing about more women being involved? Well, according to the Canadian Sports Association, they were the ones that actually trained us. Uh, they say that one third of their new registrants are women, which is really interesting. And actually, in speaking to uh, the gun uh, range officer yesterday at Silverdale um, Sport uh, Gun Club, he actually said that he's seen an increase too. In fact, we have a clip of that. So watch this. Roughly, I'd have to say one woman for every six to seven male shooters. Uh, but once again, looking back 20 years ago when it was one female for 300 club members, uh, it, big difference. All right, so it is, uh, it is becoming more common for women. And uh, from what I understand, uh, there are a lot more people getting their licenses as well, generally across the board in Canada. Yeah, I think the, the stats show, I mean, it's it's. Quite remarkable. It's, it's still the, quite the low in Ontario. Here's the uh, firearms licenses per 100,000. Low in Ontario compared to the rest, but look at Newfoundland Especially the Eastern, yeah, and Saskatchewan, even Quebec. Yeah, Quebec is a shocking number because that's where you often hear about gun control um, the, the, the most. But no, the, the numbers show themselves. Total licenses have gone up 5.5% in the past five years. Um, new PALS issued, 63.7%. I mean, those are, those are big numbers in the past five years. But at the gun range, they say, like, they say every weekend it's full. And they do say commonly that more young people, more women are showing up to learn to shoot. Right. And I'll you, admit, I was, I was a little bit scared to shoot some yes. of the long rifles. And so Ivana actually... And you're nervous, about, you're nervous about the recoil. I think the recoil is what 
you know, you don't know what kind of pushback you're going to get. But once you start firing, man, yeah, they're, they're a lot of fun. And it's, I mean, it's uh, a great Dealing sport. with recoil, that's where technique comes in. Uh, would you recommend this to your girlfriends as you're out talking on the weekends? Yes. Absolutely. Um, we're rather excited about the gear, too, because, you know, we're women. We like to shop, so there's a lot of great gear. That <laughs> if, I've I been said, scrolling you know, if I said that about you, yeah, I would get a look. I'll tell you that much. Uh, like look, the pink we, camo, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm looking into all of that. Okay, yeah, let's bring up quickly. Uh, Yelich has yes, a, a new the, uh, the shotgun Remington that she'd like eight, to get. Yeah, this is the Remington 870. Um, In a, Pink. In pink, 20 gauge. Uh, it's a beauty. That's what I've been recommended is a 22 caliber, 20 don't know. gauge. So. I don't know how I feel about pink. We'll leave it there. we got to give a good <laughs> shout out to Silverdale, though, for letting yes. us bring the cameras there. Yeah, and uh, the Canadian Shooting Sports Association. Ladies, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you.